Okay, so when we're working with Cortex-M devices, it's pretty common that we can find something called SVD files. Um, these are basically a list of what all the peripherals are already. So it's, it's normally used by debuggers, um, and it makes our lives a lot easier when we're analyzing it. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a nice tool by Thomas Roth, who's made this awesome thing called SVD Loader. Um, and we can pull up his GitHub here. Uh, and he's got a little blog post on it. So if you want to see a little more, um, it's got some, some examples of it. Um, and basically what this means is that we can now suddenly get um, all of the uh, information about what peripherals are used. So here you can see an example of like peripherals are automatically shown. So it makes it a lot easier to understand what functions are doing. Um, and so I'll show you really quickly how you can install that um, on your your Ghidra, your system, Ghidra installation. So we're going to use this for lab one. This is why I want to sort of make sure you get this installed. So um, we're going to start with Ghidra up like this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my file. So if you've already analyzed it and saved it, this won't come up. It's not going to ask you to analyze it. Um, we have to hit no at this point, so we need to actually wait before we auto analyze it. We need to we need to get a bunch of peripherals here. So what's going to happen in this little section? We're going to list all our peripherals for this device. Um, and what it should look like is okay. We get this up. We hit this run button up here. This or display script manager button looks like a run button. Um, and it's going to be a list of all sorts of scripts that we could use on our device. Um, and if we go through this, what we want to get is we want to get one that's going to be inserted here. That's going to be our SVD loader. So to do this, um, we're going to go back to that GitHub I linked to here. Um, we're going to hit the code button and hit download zip. And it's going to download a zip file of this repository. And oops, I closed that. It was too quick to close that. Um, we basically are going to get our zip file, and we need to put that somewhere. Um, so there's the SVD loader. Um, and we just need to extract it somewhere, right? So I'm going to extract it right here on the desktop. Um, you can put it somewhere more sane, but it doesn't really matter. And once I open this, I'm just going to pull up the, um, here you go, I'm going to pull up wherever this is saved, so I'm going to pull up this, this directory. So I want to pull up this root directory and just copy it to my clipboard, because um, what we're going to do in Ghidra is we're going to open that, that window that opened, the script manager window right here. Um, we have to hit this button, this like list button that is going to allow us to insert script directories. And I'm just going to insert this directory right here and hit OK. Hit OK again because it found the directory. So now we should have that um, that script directory linked in for us. OK. And if this worked, you'll see this new level down security SVD loader. So I can now select that and hit run. And what it's going to do, so I have to run this while I've got um, my code this, this up just like this. So I've opened the file. I haven't hit analyze yet. Um, and what we need now is we need the SVD file. So we need the SVD file for the microcontroller that we're using. Um, so we're going to go back and we're going to take a look at um, where did that web browser window go? Too many open here. Okay, so we're going to go grab um, from what was this? Ghidra setup intro. Um, so in the Ghidra setup intro, um, or it's also in the lab one if you're on uh, in that folder too, um, there's an F SVD file. We just need to download this SVD file somewhere. So if we're doing this in GitHub, that's pretty easy. Um, we're just gonna, this download button, I'm gonna right click and hit save link as, and just save it to my downloads folder. And there we go. So now we got that file. Um, so now we just need to add this. Uh, we just need to point this to the wherever I saved that file. So um, I think I saved a copy it on my desktop earlier. Or maybe let's go downloads. 
I'll get the, the last version. Probably don't save it somewhere. So many files. Um, STM303.svd. So we want to open this this SVD file. And it's going to run for a second, so you'll see it says loading SVD file. Um, and at the end it says finish. So and if you scroll back up, you'll see it, it lists all of the registers that load it. Uh, most importantly up here, it made a list of all, all the new registers. Um, if we wanted to add anything else to this, so we'll also see this in the memory map. Um, and we can take a look at what's got what was added. So it added all of the different peripherals that SVD file knew about. Um, we may need to add other stuff. So in this case, it didn't know about the SRAM. So I'm going to add the SRAM, um, which is in the lab example. I think that's right. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Um, so this is just going to tell it about the SRAM that's in the system too, which you can see from the memory map. Um, so now that we have the SVD file loaded, now we can auto analyze it. So you, so I didn't auto analyze it initially, and I know it's not auto analyzed because there's nothing here. There's no disassembly. It's just showing raw hex. So I'll now go analyst, auto analyze, and we'll run it, and that'll take a second. And there we go. So what's different from when I showed you that first setup? Right, this looks very similar. This stuff looks the same. Well, the difference is right over here. Let's say I want to find out where somebody's using the UART. Um, I can just look for the USART. Where is that? Look for some of the various things. Um, where is this? Peripheral RTC. So somewhere I had the UART. Um, but they show up as, they basically show up as new, um, let's take a look here. Where is the UART? Because we want UART 1, um, which is the one that was used in this thing. And I know it's here because I've tried this before. Let's do it the other way. Let's look at our put, let's look at our function that was printing the strings and see if we see the UART now in it. So before we looked at right this unknown function here, and we said I, I, I sort of worked through in the other one how you could figure out it was eventually talking to the UART. Um, well, now we have let's take a look at this. So we have this pointer here. Um, it, it you know it has the same thing. We don't know exactly what this is. This is a pointer to um, the the uh, location. And if we go back to some places where it's used, what we should see is this. So now if you look back, you remember before this was just an arbitrary constant. Now it's called pointer USR1, right? Without me having to do anything. So it's detected that it's a UR uh, peripheral, right? And if we go to that memory address, so basically what it's done is it's made that memory address. Right, so if we look at that peripheral, we can see all the references to it. So we can see everywhere else that it, that UR1 is used, which makes it much easier um, to reverse engineer stuff, right? So if you wanted to know where, like, hey, is the timer used anywhere? Um, oh, there's no references to that, so the timer must not be used. Um, if we had, like, a can or something like that, uh, we could actually see where everything's used. So that's sort of the nice thing about um, this SVD um, running this SVD loader first. So the only caveat is you've, you've got to run it ahead of hitting the auto analyze. Um, so if you're going through the lab and you already hit auto analyze, you know, you didn't, you don't have all these up, then just start a new project or delete the file. Um, and then, or throw away all the analysis, whatever's easiest for you, but you want to get to a clean slate, run the SVD loader, make sure it gives you all of these things here. Um, then, you know, and add any other SRAM you want, because the other thing you noticed is that I added the SRAM here before running the auto analysis in the, the first video, I didn't do that. And you'll see some of these pointers are actually um, pointing out that they go. So if we go back to the beginning here, where's that? What you'll actually see is that um, even the pointers have been made a little more obvious. So I 
think. Yeah. Right, if we look at this function, it's telling you it's a pointer to this, um, or this this data location is a pointer to something else. So, so it makes it a little more knowledgeable. So anything you can tell Ghidra about your your hardware setup ahead of time um, improves its analysis capabilities. Uh, but yeah, so that should get you started uh, for doing some basic reverse engineering of the provided hex file. Um, and you'll be able to see where different peripherals are used within the hex file to find functions and figure out what it's doing.